Welcome to this week's Daily Dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today's Shabbat Kodesh audio is discussing Mizmor Shir. Parak 82 of Tehillim is appropriately named the Shabbat Parak because it begins with the beautiful words Mizmor Shir Leyom HaShabbat. That's how it begins. And in each parak of Tehillim, the entire parak um, speaks of essentially what is uh, listed and spoken of in the first uh, first uh, verse of that parak, of that chapter. The entire parak of 82 speaks nothing of Shabbat. So how is it that the first pasuk speaks of singing a song in the praise of Shabbat? Essentially, this chapter of Tehillim 82 speaks nothing about Shabbat, but only about how Hashem interacts with the world. So how does that have a connection with Shabbat? So it's very interesting that all week long, we're all involved with what we call the project of life, right? We run around, we try to secure our livelihood. We're basically interacting with the world at large. And it's interesting, the Sfat Met brings down that in order to genuinely feel tranquil on Shabbat, what we need to internalize is that we need to let go of this project called life. We have to internalize that all of the, the week-long activities are basically complete. It's not like they're on hold until Motzei Shabbat. They are complete. They're finished. They're done. So that's why it explains, um, and we can understand a little bit more of how this parak in Tehillim explains how Shabbat is that foretaste of the world to come. Because when our mission in this world has been completed and um, we're sort of done with that chapter in our life called our life project, then when we enter that world to come, that other place, our eternal place, God willing, the events of our entire life are going to become crystal clear and it's going to make sense every nuance and every aspect of our life. It's going to feel this, you're going to have a sense of this completefulness, this wholesomeness, this finish, finishing touch will be able to be really experienced at that time. So on Shabbat, we get a little bit of that dip into that realm of clarity. We're privileged to dip a little bit into that idea of detaching ourselves from this world, God willing, being able to relax and have our mind be calm. And when we relax our mind, things somehow make better sense we can almost see this full circle. So the precious day of Shabbat really awards us with that ability to to attain a level of amuna through the quieting down and hopefully strive to want to see um, Hashem's justice in the world, to see a little bit more of that complete picture in our lives. So we learn from the conclusion of this parak. It says, to declare that Hashem is upright, my rock in whom there is no injustice. So if we really com- correctly and, and intently and focus our preparation, preparing ourselves for Shabbat, to let go of all that unfinished business, to allow our minds to really, really settle, settle into a place of calmness, settle and let go then we'll be able to get a little bit more of an idea to comprehend that glimpse, the 160th. We'll be able to get a little bit more of a glimpse of Hashem's justice. And then we can attempt, if we take Shabbat onto that level, we can attempt to see some of that full picture, attain a little bit more of that clarity that we can infuse into our work week and be able to get a better idea, be infused more 
with the trust level, the Amunah Shlema, and seeing Hashem's hand in the guiding of our life personally and the, the world in its entirety in the most just and fair way. Fair way. We, we may not be able to still understand everything, but it's through the power of Shabbat as we sing the Mizmor Shir Yom Shabbat, we're able to delve into the idea that Hashem has a whole master plan in front of, uh, in, the whole divine plan is laid out. And our job, which we get a greater sense to tie into on Shabbat, is to have a Muna Shlema, complete and genuine faithfulness, that all that Hashem does is 100% just, and that there's a, there's a big picture and it's on Shabbat that we're awarded a little bit of that clarity through the quieting of the mind and the singing that we're able to delve a little bit more into that idea and um, increase our amuna. So I'm wishing everybody an amazing, beautiful, warm, and uplifting Shabbat.